further in we go, the stronger the monsters become. This definitely can't be good. <sighs> Miss Helena? Are you all right? There is no need for concern. What is this? This almost crushing sense of foreboding evil. The power of the endless void. Oh my. It would seem it's no coincidence that the servants of the void have made this castle their lair. Do you think they're feeding on the emotions even of the monsters here? Most likely. After all, just look how many there are. I suspect a great deal of power could be drawn from them. Whatever are you two talking about? We speak of the foe that we came here to face, Lady Helena. Our enemy preys on feelings like anger and hatred, and transforms those emotions into power. I never would have imagined they could do so with the emotions of monsters as well, however. It's not that I sympathize with those monsters, but still, I don't like it. Monsters, humans, probably even us as well. We're all just a power source, or maybe even food to our enemies. It's not right. Just who are you two, truly? Listen, Lady Helena. Unbelievable danger lies ahead. The power of the Void here is denser than anything we've encountered. This isn't something we can burden any human with. So please, wait outside for your own safety. Thank you so much for guiding us here. We really do appreciate it. You can leave the rest to us. So by human, you imply that the two of you are anything but that. I suspected that was the case, of course. And yet... Sorry for not telling you sooner. The truth is, we're not human, but rather... Oh dear! Monsters? I hadn't even noticed. Whatever you are, you clearly don't have eyes in the back of your heads. Be sure to keep your wits about you. Well, and here I was, trying to look out for Lady Helena. Even in the face of danger, she stays so cool. It's not fair. <sighs> I'm afraid you are making little sense. Stand up and get a hold of yourself. Come now, we need to hurry. Hurry? But I told you, it's too... You needn't worry about me. I shall see this through to the end. Oh, Lady Helena! Oh, understood. I will protect you, I promise. I'm sorry, Perrine. It's okay, right? You don't need to apologize to me. I'll always support you in what you want to do. Thanks. In that case, come on, Lady Helena. Let's go! Look here. Here's one, and another, and this one too. You... you scum! All those cores... Just how many worlds have you... Who knows? 
I lost count. Still, no matter how many I collect, it all feels so unsatisfying. What are you talking about? You heard from Dialdo, didn't you? About what kind of beings we are? <sighs> Anyhow, who cares? What I'm saying is, the only thing inside me is an unquenchable flame. A flame that burns with jealousy. Envy for all you wretches who have what I'll never have. Ah, take that! You... You have it too, I see. Because you're one of them, right? Even in this pathetic, beat-up state you're in, your eyes shine with light. What the hell is that? That purple idiot and the green fool we fought in that place that wasn't Audra. They had it too. Hope. What? A belief that tomorrow may be better than today. And the next day, even better still. Hope for the future. And the pride of one sworn to protect that hope. And maintain the harmony of the world. Hope. Pride. I won't know what those feel like. That's what shines in your eyes. Damn it. Why do I have to be jealous of you? Why can't I have what you have? If I had that, would I not feel so empty? Would that put out this flame that burns inside me? It, it never goes away. It's always here, uh, in my chest. Burning. Burning. If I can't bury it with something, or if it doesn't stop, I'm going to lose my mind! So, give it to me. Yes. Give me that light in your eyes. Maybe then I'll spare your life. I'm afraid I can't do that. This light isn't something you can take from others. What? Th th why the hell not? Then what am I supposed to do? You have to find the light of hope within yourself. But you already have some of it, yes? You have hope that one day you might not be empty. If I can't take your hope, what the hell am I supposed to do? You lying scum! Ah! No! Listen to my words. Well, you two seem to be having a lovely time. Mind if I join you? Rizal, what are you doing here? That's no way to treat your friend, is it? And after I went through all that trouble to gather that void... Friend, that's just another lie. And I'm so sick of it. Oh, you wound me, Vega. Surely you know that I've always had your best interests at heart. Of course, I think of Dialdo, too. Say, Vega, that little puppet we took out of him can still fight, yes? I was under the impression that if we kill him, our puppet stops working as well. Yeah, well, so what? Who cares? You and I might be fine with it, but Dialdo would be terribly disappointed. Why are we leaving it to some stupid puppet anyway? I can do the fighting. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'll do. I'll kill as many of them as I need to until I can get their light. You're as adorable as ever, Vega. 
I truly wish I could grant your every wish. You feel the same, don't you, Dialdo? Vega, no matter how much you try to quench the flame within you, within us, it cannot be done. At least let me try! Why do you have to be like this? Just when my flames start to burn, you show up telling me to return or go home. I am so damn sick of it. That green one was strong. Just a little bit more and I would have had her. I could have killed that warrior of the wind and taken her light. Why won't you let me? It was nothing personal. Amplifying and gathering the power of the Void is our top priority. That is all. Then haven't we collected enough already? We did everything you asked us to, didn't we? Not everything. Not yet. I mean, I can't say I haven't been enjoying myself. But was it even necessary for us to split into three identities in the first place? It allowed us to gather a great quantity of void in a short time, did it not? There you go again, Dioldo. Always acting like... <gasps> what is it? No. It couldn't be. I can feel it. The most annoying one of the lot. The Dark One. And that water idiot is with her too. Water idiot? Not her again. I will gather all the power we have acquired into a single collective. Buy us time until it's ready. No! Not this time. I'm going to kill them and take their light. Even if I can't take it. I'm still killing them! I'm going to let my flame burn all the way and obliterate them! Riso, you should go too. True. Vega will no doubt need my aid. Mm. Leave it to me. I'll protect him. Anything for my sweet, adorable Vega. Dark and water. Have they come for me? This looks like the deepest chamber of the castle. But where, oh, where is Rugia? What happened here? It's strangely messy. Don't you think? Was someone searching for something here? Indeed. We investigated this place more thoroughly than anywhere else. There were great stone chests housing ancient relics here. I should know. I was the one who ordered their removal. Ancient relics? That sounds a little foreboding. I have guided you all this way even fought by your side. But this friend you speak of is nowhere to be found. I do not want to believe that you were treasure hunters or thieves, but... Well, wait a minute, Lady Helena! I never lie to someone as incredible as you! I can feel it! I can feel Rogia's presence here! There's no way I'm wrong about this! There are no hidden passages or secret doors, which means uh, he must be on the other side of what we see before us. Of course, the gap between one world and the next. Let's do this, Perrine! But of course! A crack in the middle of thin air, and there's something inside it? See? I knew it! I can feel Rogia's presence stronger than before! Wait, 
Rafi? It's not safe to leap before you look. What... what am I seeing? Is this truly reality? <sighs> Look! It's Rogia! Rav? Be... Be careful. Our foe. Huh? Rafi! To your left! Yeah! You're... Viga! Today is the day you die! You talk about cringy. Can't you come up with a cooler opening line? Anyhow, good of you to show up. Now I can pay you back for what you did to Doom! Oh, has the fighting started already? It's so exciting how you all just get straight to the point. Fancy meeting you here. Good day. It's a pleasure to see you again, warrior of the water crystal. Such sinister magic. So these are the foes you spoke of. Who's that? Oh, just a human. <sighs> You're in our way. Die! Indeed, I may be just a human. But I was once known as the Black Rose of the Battlefield. You do well not to underestimate me. Damn it! Uppity human. <sighs> it's still cool every time I hear it. The Black Rose of the Battlefield. And so I... The Fey Shadow of the Mercurial Abyss! Oh, is that a new one? After thinking about it, I realized the whole witch thing felt a little lacking in subtlety. Oh, I thought this the last time too, but... You're an interesting one. I rather like you. Oh, come now. Why must you always tell lies like that? You, on the other hand, I wholeheartedly despise. <laughs> so you tell me the truth, at least. <sighs> Just shut up already, Rasul! They are mine to kill! Got it. You two aren't so great at fighting together, are you? The flame in me... it burns! This is like when I fought the green one! This time... this time I can... What... what are you so happy about? <laughs> yes! This is it! Even with Perrine and Lady Helena's firepower, he just... laughed it off? What the heck? As much as I hate to admit it, June was pretty awesome to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this monster kid all on her own. 
have to keep fighting. I can't let Lady Helena see me fail. You... It's in your eyes, too. Damn you! Damn you all! I'll rip it! Gouge it right out of you! Now come here! And let me kill you! <sighs> you still haven't learned a lesson, have you? I guess some lessons have to be taught the hard way. You get points for pushing me to the point where I have to fight for real. But once the power that dwells within my right arm is released, I'll take no responsibility for what happens next. She's taken the armor off her right arm. Whatever is she thinking? Oh, uh, what was it again? That's right, it was something like... The fangs of the all-devouring beast are embedded in that arm in place of your bones, yes? And so overwhelming is their strength that you must keep it sealed beneath armor. That was it, right? The power of an all-devouring beast? Is that true, Raph? I hope this has nothing to do with the ancient relics. It's true! All of it! I swear! Remember, your physical flesh can only withstand the power of the beast unleashed for three minutes! Don't forget that, Raffi. Please, oh please, come back safe and sound! Green, I will get you for that later. Well, it seems we have no choice but to end this hastily. Raph, let us combine our magic. We can do that, yes? Huh? You, you mean the two of us will perform an attack together, side by side? Maybe even hand in hand? Yes! Yes, let's do it! We're gonna nail this absolutely well and truly! Oh my! Your magic really is stronger than ever, Raffi! I'm so impressed! Ugh, spare me this foolishness! I've been subject to more than enough! Dialdo! The gathering is complete. Return, both of you. Come now, Vigo. You heard him. We're done here. Shut the hell up! I came this far! I'm not stopping now! Until that light fulfills me, or my flame burns out! One or the other, I am not stopping until then! Fulfills you? Whatever are you talking about? You worthless puppet! What the hell are you doing? Get out of my way! Leave the rest to that one. The Aldo! You'll pay for this! I'm going to kill you too! When our task is done, you may do as you please. Though no doubt even you realize deep down it is futile. Return. I will not repeat myself again. Damn you! Damn you all! Whew, what a relief. Anyhow, we have to go. Do have fun with our little toy. They did a runner on us again! Ugh, and now we have to fight this damn vision again. Miss Helena, just so you know, that vision may be even nastier than those two you just fought.
This time, you are going down, you dream-crushing spoil sport! <laughs> oh, Rafi. I know it's a vision, but perhaps you could settle down? Rulgi is watching, you know. That was my chance to finally do a partner attack with Lady Helena! Dear me, she's not even listening. The evil presence. It is gone. It would seem this battle is over. Are you quite all right, Rulgia? I'm sorry we took so long. Say nothing. I... I thought... I was done for. But you... came... Shush now. Save your strength. At any rate, we should be getting back. Ruffy! I know. I know already. Damn it all. Well, now that we have our friend back, we really should be on our way. Indeed. I am relieved to see he is safe. I too should go, though it was all too short. I enjoyed our time together. Wait! Uh, well, we never got around to saying it, but the truth is, we're... You need not say a thing. As far as I'm concerned, I saw nothing here today, and met no one. That will make your battle ahead an easier one to navigate, will it not? Then... What will you do from here, my lady? Me? I will do what I must. That's... a good thing, right? <sighs> lady Helena, your magic that I saw... It really was incredible. So, um... Just promise me... Promise me that you won't use it for the wrong reasons. If I do, will you be the one who comes to stop me? With such power as you unleashed when we did battle with those two? N no That's one thing I could never do. <gasps> Lady Helena, she's hugging me! <sighs> You are not just sweet. You are smart as well, aren't you, Raph? You have my promise. I will never forget your words, nor the look in your eyes. I too hope that the time never comes that we must meet on opposite sides of the battlefield. While it saddens me that our paths may never cross again, may your travels be safe ones. I know not who that was, but she had a most impressive air about her. You can say that again. I dare say Raffi here was quite fortunate to meet her. Wouldn't you say so, Raffi? Fainted on her feet? Is that even possible? Oh dear. Whatever shall we do now? Oh, must I carry the both of you with these slender arms of mine?
Reporting! The main force under King Moraga's command has not moved from their position. Excellent. Report to Lord Mont at once. Yes, sir. This is quite the find. We've warped the state of countless worlds and histories, and yet... The void I feel coming together in this place is far beyond any of them. Who goes there? How did you get here? <laughs> How indeed. But never mind that. Take a careful look at this. It's not enough. Not nearly enough. I need more. You... you wretch! Did those Leonis cowards send you? You must be strong to have come here on your own. But you will not return! I feel nothing. Nothing. Worthless slugs, all of you. But there is a war here. People killing people. Yes. Perhaps here we can finally... If we spread the void throughout all this, then finally, finally I can... The power of the void now pervades every inch of this battlefield. Death to Moraga! Take his head! Take it! Kill every last Leonis car! Stain the battlefield with their blood! And now we wait until the final harvest.